guys, it's your boy Double from us. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the best looking cheap CSGO skins. I've made many videos about very expensive skins, for example, when I buy the Karambit Emerald or I buy a Blue Gem collection. So people always think that to have a nice inventory, you need to put in a lot of money. Well, that's not actually the case. You can have a really good looking, impressive inventory while at the same time not putting in more more than 15 euro per skin. Which is why today, for every single weapon in CS, I'm going to be listing two different good-looking options that are both going to be under 15 euro on the market. Now, before we start with the list, this video is sponsored by CS Money, and they helped me gather all of these skins. They actually helped me all the way back when I didn't have every single skin. And if you don't know what CS Money is, it's a very nice CSGO trading site where you can buy, sell, and trade your skins and as you can see they have quite the assortment of skins on their site so if you haven't checked them out yet you can do so in the description i'll talk more about them later though so let's get on with the list the first skins i'm going to be looking at is for the p2000 the first p2000 skin that i chose is the scorpion it is very old retro and kind of minimalistic not that many people use it nowadays and i think it's maybe a little bit undervalued next skin that i chose is the Amber Fade. Also has this golden yellow sort of a color, but this time all over the pistol. This one is the more expensive option, but I guess the more money you put in, the more color you get. Next up, we have the USP. For the USP, I chose the Para Green because it's from an Operation Collection, and it is very simple. This would be perfect with a cheap sticker craft. The next USP, we have the Statrack Factory New Guardian. Also a super simple, but beautiful skin. This text on the silencer really does it for me. Next up, we have the Glock. The first skin that I chose is the Nuclear Green. As you can see, I really like simple but very colorful skins. This one is also available in Souvenir, but that was outside of the budget. Second Glock that I chose is the Bullet Queen. This one within our budget, we can only afford in Well Worn, but thankfully, the difference between a Factory New and a Well Worn is only the brightness, so it doesn't really affect it that much. Next up, we have the C CC75. The first one that I chose is the Tigris. Orange is my favorite color, but I think this faded gradient effect is really nice, and it's kind of like a cheap tiger tooth. Next one that I chose, of course, is the CZ Victoria. This one has a crown and a stat track, so maybe a bit out of budget. Within the budget, you're looking at a non-stat track factory new, but as you can see, these details in the engraving for being under 15 euro, I think that is really worth it. Now for the P250 I actually chose three different ones. The Bengal Tiger, the Crimson Kimono, and of course the Vino Primo. The Bengal Tiger with a right pattern looks very good, like a white tiger tooth. Same with the Crimson Kimono. If you get a good pattern with a lot of red, I really like it. And finally of course the Vino Primo, which is in my opinion the best looking P250, maybe best looking skin on this whole list. Next up, the 5-7. First up, I chose the 5-7 Crimson Blossom. This is also an operation based skin, but for some reason I just fell in love with this color. It's so simple, but in my opinion, it's one of the better looking 5-7s. The next one is the Violent Daimyo. Now, this is a super cheap skin, and for the money you're paying, this is a lot of detail and a lot of color. Next up, the Tech 9. First skin that I chose is the Re-Entry, which you can see is basically a blaze for the Tech 9, but super cheap. When I zoom in, I just really like the detail and the gradient from blue to black. Next Tech 9 is kind of stupid. It's the Snake 9. This is because it's basically a Gucci Tech 9. Look at the snake pattern, and I mean, it's Gucci. Gucci gang! <laughs> Moving along, we have the dual Berettas. First up, the Royal Consort. You have basically an emerald pattern in the back, engraved gold bronze. It's 
so good looking and it's fucking less than two dollars this one is one of the best skins on the list next up not quite as impressive we have the elite 1.6 these ones i chose mostly because of the nostalgia from playing a lot of css and 1.6 and in my opinion this is kind of how the vanilla dual berettas should look for the r8 i've only chosen the fade because i think most other r8 skins are not that good looking now for the last pistol the deagle i chose the kumichu dragon this one in the inventory as you can see now it's beautiful sadly in game you don't really see this pink handle but overall i still think it's definitely worth the money and finally we have the desert eagle urban rubble but it's souvenir under 15 euro there's not that many deagles that are good looking that's why i chose this one in souvenir it's basically just for these good looking golden stickers moving on to the shotguns starting with the mag 7 we have the mag 7 justice i mean this one is self-explanatory just look at the detail the blue the gold the small details this is a very good looking skin for the prize after this one we have the mag 7 silver once again only chosen because of the golden souvenir stickers in game it looks basically white with a little bit of silver and then you have these golden stickers very nice next up the sawed off of course i included the kraken because it's red quality and og from the winter offensive collection but i also included the sword of apocalypto i like the purple space in the background the bomb earth and of course on the handle there's a watch so if you have an agent skin you can wear two watches flex moving on to the nova i chose the bloom stick as my first option because it looks like it's basically a painting and the red is very vibrant in game and the next one i chose basically again for the golden souvenir stickers the souvenir walnut next up the xm 1014 my first options is the seasons with the blue leaf because it's basically like a shitty fade and also you would make mcskillet proud after this one we have the teclu burner which once again is almost like a cheap blaze so in my opinion this one is pretty self-explanatory for the m249 i've only chosen one skin the impact drill but the specific one that i have with these three stickers i think this one looks decent it's got sticker craft whatever i don't think there's that many good looking m249s maybe the new one but in my opinion i just don't think it's interesting enough and finally for the negev i have chosen the dev texture stat track factory new this is pretty biased because i'm very nostalgic about playing hours on these maps and also orange is my favorite color so for me this is definitely the best negev and other than that one i don't think any negev skins are cool there's there's literally only one <laughs> Now, you've probably seen that I've been using the CS Money 3D skin viewer from their wiki, which contains a lot of good, useful information about all the skins in CS. Now, everyone knows CS Money for their trades, but you can also buy and sell skins. So if trading is not your cup of tea or you're just looking to buy some skins, then you can enter the store mode where prices are 20% lower than if you were to trade, which is really perfect if you're not looking to trade your own skins or you don't have any skins to trade and you just want to get some super cool skins for yourself now like i said in sell mode you can sell your own skins and you can set the prices as well and then they'll be listed and people can either trade for them or buy them so if you guys want to check them out then links are in the description and now let's continue with the list next up we have the mac 10 first off of course i chose the discotheque which is basically a reflective ghetto fade everyone thought this one was going to be hella expensive once it released but as you can see it being on this list it's not that expensive and for the second mac 10 i chose the calf skin the souvenir version of this one is actually within budget but i did not choose that one because i think the stickers interfere with the magnificent artwork which as you can see is very similar to the vino primo after this one we have the mp9 first one i chose is the rose iron which is timeless it's black red and yellow in my opinion a very nice og skin next one is of course the hydra which i chose because of the green popping color in game and the fact that it's very detailed for being so cheap next smg the mp5 i chose the phosphor as the first one which again has a very vibrant colors and almost like a fade and since this one is from the danger zone case why don't we stick with the danger zone theme and go with the souvenir 
lab rats. This one is extremely cheap, but there's some very cool patterns. For example, this one, where the whole front of the gun is red, the mag as well. And you also have this one, where the red rat is basically a rare pattern. It's very cool. Next up, the MP7. First skin I chose is the Nemesis, which looks like a fucking transformer. With yellow details, which is nice. And of course, what is a list without the MP7 fade? Once again, when you can get the fade within the 15 euro budget, I think that's a pretty good deal. Try to get a good pattern with a lot of blue, and I think you're all set. Next up, the UMP. Now, sadly, the blaze is just out of reach. As you can see, it's literally just cents away from being within the budget. But rules are rules. So the first one I chose is the Primal Saber. In my opinion, a very well-executed skin, which is very cheap for the UMP, with these nice splashes of color. Now, the next one was a bit hard to choose. It's the Exposure. But I realized, in-game, it actually kind of pops. So in my opinion, this is a pretty decent contender. Almost done with the SMGs, we're moving on to the PP Bison. No, not this one. This was a very sad mistake. <laughs> first one I chose is, of course, Judgment of Anubis. Red quality skin with a lot of color and detail. And I really love Egyptian themes. This was really an obvious choice for me. Next one, because I lose hella money on the cases and trade-ups, we have the High Roller. You have these gambling chips and cards and dice and all of these different symbols. If you've ever opened cases and lost money on it, I think this is probably the skin for you. Or maybe Phantom Lord. <laughs> now for the last SMG, we have the P90. First choice, of course, the Asimov. Now, there's not a lot of Asimovs you can get within a 15 euro budget. And since Asimov is literally one of the most recognizable skins in CS and it's a red quality, I think this one is an obvious choice. Last one is kind of stupid. This is the Tiger Pit. I don't really like this one. It looks like a fucking carpet. But I think this one might be a decent investment opportunity if you guys want to buy a skin, use it, and hopefully also sell it for more than you bought it for. Moving on to the rifles, we're starting with the FAMAS. First up, we have the FAMAS Sticks. Very similar to the Glock nuclear reactor, but in a red colorway. And since it's not really close to the 15 euro cap, I really like this one. And for the second FAMAS, we have the Commemoration Minimal Wear. This is one of the most obvious choices on the list. Gold, wood, and it looks like a trophy. Definitely one of the better looking skins on the list. And also, it has Sweden on the map, so I mean, how can you not like it? Next up, the Galil. Starting off with the Chatterbox, which is not the best looking skin, but the fact that when you shoot it in game, it laughs, and I think this is one of the only skins in the game that has a mechanic like that. It makes it really funny. Every time you shoot, the skull laughs. <laughs> and next one, we have the Cerberus. Very detailed and good looking skin. Vibrant, got that sort of a nuclear reactor feeling. Now, moving on to one of the most important guns on the list, the AK. Starting with the Phantom Disruptor. Super cool blacked out background with this sort of ghostly art on top, which I really like. And next one was a hard decision, but I chose the Baroque Purple. Because as you can see, it's basically the Gucci pattern. GANG! <laughs> now the first M4, the M4A1S, I chose the Hyper Beast. This is a classic cheap M4, which in my opinion, <laughs> actually looks really good. Next choice, of course, is the Golden Coil. For 15 euro, getting this sort of royal looking gold M4 is a deal. Moving on to the M4, we have the Evil Daimyo, which just like the Violet Daimyo, has this sort of a samurai pattern, and this skin series is just one of my favorite overall. Next one is the Global Offensive. Not the best looking skin on the list, since it's an operation skin from the Broken Fang operation. I think this one could go up in value. Moving on to the AUG, we have the Fleet Flock, which looks like a super calm painting by Bob Ross or something. I don't know, I really like the birds and the clouds. Second option, of course, is one from the Operation, the Carved Jade. It's literally an emerald aug, which looks really cool. And also has the 
potential to increase in price. Next up, the SG553. I chose the dark wing, the fiery wings, and how the light just reflects on these wings. I really, really like this one. And final SG, the Cyrex. A very basic skin, but for the price point, I think it's very clean. Moving on with the Scout. I chose the Parallax, which is one of my favorite skins, because it has the chromatic aberration effect, which basically makes this look like this, which is really cool and trippy. Oh my god. Oh! Second scout that I chose is the Handbrake, just like the Vino Primo and the Calfskin Mac 10, made by the same guy, got this very clean and leathery feeling. I This is one of my favorite scouts. Next up, the T Auto Sniper. Of course, I chose the Hunter first because of the rustic look of the skin and the nice dark wood, which is coincidentally also the porn category that I search. Dark would. <laughs> And next up, we have the High Seas. This one is crazy steampunk, super detailed. It literally looks like a uh, part of a steampunk ship. Now for the Scar 20, we could start with the Grotto, but my personal favorite is the Splash Jam. Now, we're definitely not going to be anywhere near to afford this one in factory new, because that one is very expensive. But we can still afford it in field tested, and I think this pink color really makes the Scar pop in game. Final Scar, we have the Magna Carta. This one kind of gives me Vino Primo vibes. Super clean. I like this deep purple and the sort of more tanned upper. It's, it's a super nice skin in my opinion. And finally, probably one of the most important skins on this list, the Op. Now for 15 euro, there's not super many Ops that you're going to be able to afford, but one of the better one in my opinion is the Atheris. You can afford this one in factory new and it is super clean. It's basically like a ghetto Medusa. <laughs> and the final op that I chose, I guess many people already guessed it, it's the Exoskeleton. This one, just like the Atheris, in my opinion, should not be purples from a case. I think they look way better than just being a purple. Overall, a super good looking skin for the price point. Now, sadly, there are no gloves or knives that you can afford in this price range, so that's why I didn't include them in the list. But I hope overall that this video in inspired some of you guys to drop the uh, the thought that inventories have to be super expensive and that to have a good looking skin you need to pay hundreds of euros. In my opinion, I could have had these skins on my list and I would be more than happy because they look good in the game. Now before the video ends, of course we have a giveaway like I always do with CS Money. This time you can win a Karambit Fade. It's free to join, all you need to do is log into CS Money and follow their social media pages. The giveaway is drawn one month month from today and all the links are in the description. So thank you guys for watching and thank you Mr. CS Money for helping me gather these skins and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, yeet. Yeah.